Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor of Classics Today. Dot com. Here with Schadenfreude Seven for speaking percussionist, so that I can review this fantastic box issued on the Neos label. Yes, it's called Darmstadt Oral Documents Box One. Composers and conductors conducting their own works. <laughs> Yes, that's what we are going to have. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven boxes. Of course, they should have had 12, but that would have been too logical. One for each tone. Yes, indeedy. But Schadenfreude 7 is devoted to this big box of failure. <laughs> yes, because 99% of the stuff in here is crap, just plain crap. And the entire Darmstadt self-regarding narcissistic bubble of money-sucking aesthetic snotheads is now a completely worthless memory. Yes, it is. So let me tell you what's in the box. We need to have a moment of silence. First of all, the exciting part. You can't get anything out of the box. The music is difficult. The box is more difficult. Oh, wait. It's starting to happen. Here we go. It's on the Neos label, by the way. Neos. There it is. The Neos label. You know what? I don't even have to take it out of the box. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Because it's all in the back. So I can tell you what is on these six fabulous CDs. First, Earl Brown, Available Forms 1. I don't know what happened to numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know. I don't know a bit. I can't even tell you. I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. Then, René Leibowitz, Kammersymphonie for Zwölf Instruments. Ah, oh, what a joy that is. He's the guy who said Sibelius was the worst composer ever. Wolfgang Fortner, Mitte des Lebens. Es muss auf Deutsch sein. Natürlich. Ernst Kredek, Cantata for Wartime. Und Bruno Maderna. Piano Forte Concierto. I have to stop for a moment and just say right now. I like Bruno Maderna. He's a good composer. His music is usually interesting. It really is, believe it or not. And that's disc one. Now, disc two. Disc two. Okay, Karl Heinz Stockhausen. You get Kreutzspiel three, Hans Otto Tasso Concetti. I don't know what that is. Henri Pousseur. Répond pour sept musiciens. Bruno Maderna, concerto for oboe and camera ensemble. Not bad, he's like a good composer, I said so. Mauricio Kegel, sonant, which means sounding something. Ooh, 
Yeah, baby. CD3, Bruno Moderna, Dimensioni, four. Not as good as Schadenfreude, seven, which I am performing as we speak. Pierre Boulez, double. I prefer triple, but what can you expect from Boulez? He's always giving you one less than you think you deserve. Uh, Herbert Brun, soniferous loops. Soniferous loops, not to be confused with coniferous poops. Yes, Andras Mihaly, Drei Zetze, Verkummer Ensemble, Bruno Moderna, Concert Two for Oboe and Orchestra, Borisio Kago. 1898, recorded in 1974. It's a little late. What can you do? And then uh, Ernst Albrecht Stiebler Continuo. Yeah. Disc Fünf. Manfred Trohan, Kammer Concert, Carmen Maria Carnitzi, the the Mado songs, Herbert H. P. Platz from Fear of Thunder Dreams, Meet Michael Finnessy, Piano Concerto Number Three. Oh my goodness, Piano Concerto Number Three. <laughs> And last but not least, disc four, Beat Ferrer, A un moment de terre perdu. Oh, perdu, Mauricio Kegel, Orchestrion Street. Street, you hear, street. Johannes Kalitsky, crucifix, crucifixion. Two. That means there's a crucifixion one, and possibly a crucifixion three. Who knows? And finally, last but certainly not least, Gerhard Müller Hornbach, innere Spuren. Now, these were all recorded between 1949 and about, I think, 2002, possiblemente. So, not only do you get squeak bloop music, which sometimes goes bloop squeak instead of squeak bloop, but you can get it in really bad sound. Oh, what a treat! <laughs> can't think of anything more to say other than, listen, folks, the sad thing is not that the music is vile. Most of it is. In fact, it was produced by the Fundación BBVA, which stands for Brutally Boring, Viscerally Awful Music. The truth is, most of the stuff we hear today that's new is equally bad. It just happens to be tonal. It makes no difference. What matters is whether it's good music or bad music. But Darmstadt deserves a particular level of opprobrium for the pretension that these people had, for the money that they wasted, for their sense of entitlement and elitist Keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me.